I told you earlier on that God can turn water to wine. Let me tell you how that miracle works. He doesn't introduce anything new. It is the water you already had. He will simply turn it to wine. The size may not be affected. Maybe the color and the taste and the chemical composition. That's all that changes. But when you stand before his majesty with ashes, there are times that nothing can be done over that ashes. So here's what he says. Bring it. Now you have to trust him enough to take the ashes. I told you ashes is the final state of burning. From a flourishing tree to a log of wood to burned coal to ashes. A tree, wood, coal, ashes. And he says, give it to me. When you hand it over to him, to you it may look like every situation is hopeless. Then you see him coming with a garment. Beauty, he calls it. And he wraps it around you like the father of Joseph wrapped the coat of many colors. Now, I don't know what it was before it became ashes. It's amazing that when anything becomes ashes, you cannot really tell what it was before. It is not always wood. When they cremate men, they also become ashes. So it's not always wood. Even flesh, when you burn it intensely, it can become ashes. When bones are crushed and burned, they become ashes. Ashes does not reveal what it was before. So sometimes, listen carefully, the law of receiving beauty for ashes is that you must trust God for grace to forget about the ashes. Because you cannot receive the beauty still remembering the ashes. Remember ye not the former things. I know that you lost your job, but for as long as you are still thinking about that job, Lord, for as long as you are still reminiscing on Sodom and Gomorrah, you didn't carry everything. I know you left your chair in the parlor while it is being burned. But do you know that God is able to do something in your future? You may never see that chair again. You may never see your loved one again. You may never go back to that office again. Maybe that relationship did not work and it's for real. It's gone. Never comes again. Most believers cannot go forward because their heads are still at yesterday. Their bodies are trying to move forward. But they miss yesterday so much. They do not even see what God is doing today. The law of conversion, receiving beautiful ashes, demands that you forget about what that ashes was. That ashes was a beautiful plant. The picture may be with you, but you have to stop it from distracting you. I know that you once had a father, a mother, you once had brothers and sisters, and now they've slept the sleep of death. You may not forget them, but you cannot allow that pain to stop you from moving forward. Agreed, you can have moments of grief for a while, but the time must come you will tell yourself, I need to move forward. You lost the job 10 years ago. The company has even been folded. Don't sit back and say, ah, I, I remember my 5 million was in that company. My 10 million was in that company. Oh, the days of railway. Unfortunately, it has gone. I worked in a typewriting company. It will never return again. Stop missing a typewriter. There are better gadgets that can serve. You will not have the privilege of punching them one by one again. Are we, are we together? But you can have a better presentation. Now hear me. Do you have the courage to look at the ashes that you've held so dearly? Because to you it is not ashes. You still remember the tree. You still remember the wood. You still remember the coal and the ashes. So when you hold it, others are looking at dust but you are looking at a story a story of decline a story of pain but do you have the courage to look beyond it and receive his beauty jesus is saying give me the ashes listen to me ladies and gentlemen that situation of pain you cannot live like that after 10 20 years Yes, the job issue has come. Yes, the surgery happened and your wound was taken away. Yes, I now, your legs were amputated, unfortunately, sadly. Yes, the accident happened. It truly did. Yes, this happened. You lost your job. Yes, you went to jail for five years. Now you are released and your life, listen, meditating on yesterday and remaining there 
is like holding on to the ashes but Jesus is standing tonight and he's saying I'm not going to turn that ashes to something else it is still a miracle you are waiting for the ashes and you wish Jesus if you can turn the ashes to coal the coal to wood and the wood back to a tree this is what I want you to do are you not the God that turned water to wine and then he says I'm also the God that gives beauty for ashes so that if your miracle does not afford you turning ashes back to coal back to wood and back to a tree it may never happen again but he can give you beauty and look at me beauty there does not mean looks beauty means everything that can take away pain beauty means everything that can erode the memory of pain and tragedy and suffering let me tell you if it is the God of heaven there is something he can do in your life your mother may never return in this side of God's kingdom your father may never return your siblings may never return the job may never come again unfortunately and sadly maybe the marriage may never work again unfortunately but let me tell you the truth look at those ashes and present it to the master let your hands be empty enough then watch what else he gives you he will give you beauty for ashes beauty so someone looks at you and says you've been an orphan for 10 years but it does not look like that in your life god raised other parents from everywhere to cover for you to a point where if you tell the story people will say it's a lie you mean you've lost your job for 15 years but today instead of a job you never went back to the job but god gave you a business a flourishing business you know joseph never returned back to his father's house read your bible you taught joseph from egypt he missed his home but joseph did not receive the miracle of turning water to wine joseph received beauty for ashes you thought that joseph would go back home he wanted to go back home he missed the playground he missed everything that was happening there but sometimes God does not take you back by turning water to wine he tells you you may never go back there again but I will give you something else God something else will always be better than what you had before find a way of believing what I'm telling you when God brings any replacement to your life it will always be better more superior in quality but the key is do you have the courage to give him the ashes some of you have been holding the ashes of your pain for 10 years you've been holding the ashes of regrets for 10 years you've been holding the ashes of tragedy financial tragedy your health for 10 years Jesus is coming by way of this message and I'm saying hand it over to me lay it down lay it down lay it down for someone you may not even hand it over you may be like the woman with the alabaster box you would just break that thing and say ashes you were once a tree i played under your shade i watched men cut you to become wood i watched fire burn you to become coal now you are reduced to ashes but i'm ready to lay it down because something else is coming let me tell you what happens when you lay down the ashes he will hold your hands and say come you will open up a realm and you will see many trees you would see that it was an orchard he wanted to give you while you were weeping over a tree he now gives you an orchard and with that orchard you have many shades to lay in and also bring others into that experience ladies and gentlemen from a human standpoint there are people we may never stop missing We've loved people. There are memories that may never leave our minds. Memories of yesterday. But here's what the Bible says. This one thing I do. Forgetting the things that are behind. And reaching forth for the things that are before me. It didn't say forgetting the bad things. I've taught you. Things don't have to be bad and tragic. Sometimes you have to just be strong. To say you know what? 
yesterday I wave you goodbye I love you I miss you I'll keep you in my mind but be gone for good I have to face the future because that destiny is waiting for me don't tell me about the story of something bad that happened do you know apostle I would have been married 20 years ago I understand can you hand over those ashes you are still holding on to it and many good men are coming now God is saying can't you see beauty you are saying ashes of yesterday are you willing to give that beauty and get out of the way I mean give the ashes and let beauty come I, my first car a ghastly motor accident destroyed it my first crusade nobody would leave all those things embrace the new 